I am Carlo Ghezzi. I am uh, from uh, Politecnico di Milano, the Technical University in Milan, uh, where I am a uh, professor of software engineering. Uh, my uh, research uh, has been on uh, engineering software systems uh, uh, for many years. And uh, in particular, over the past five years, I've been working on uh, Uh, engineering uh, software systems that can self-adapt uh, to uh, changes that are detecting, detected in the environment in which they operate and can also evolve um, uh, as requirements uh, can change in the external world. Uh, this uh, particular research that has been going on for five years on uh, self-adaptive systems has been uh, uh, funded by the uh, European Research Council with, the, uh, with an advanced grant. And I've been uh, working on this uh, you know, with uh, several PhD students and, and postdocs. Um, I believe that uh, uh, self-adaptation is a uh, crucial aspect uh, of uh, systems that we build today. And uh, it is particularly relevant in the case of cyber physical systems uh, because uh, cyber, cyber uh, physical systems live in, a, in an environment uh, that uh, is evolving over time. Uh, when systems are designed, uh, there is uh, a lot of uncertainty about uh, the behavior of the physical environment in which the system will be situated uh, at runtime. Uh, and uh, the systems that uh, we build are continuously running, so uh, they need to be able to uh, evolve in the way they behave uh, dynamically as uh, they are running in the, uh, in the real uh, world. Uh, so they need to be self-adaptive. Um, and, you know, I think that, you know, I try to bring this uh, message uh, to the students today uh, in class Uh, I believe that the students, you know, uh, were very interested in the topic and they asked, you know, several questions uh, and, uh, you know, they felt that this uh, um, issue of uh, self-adaptation uh, is an important component of uh, cyber physical systems. Uh, you know, I, I found the audience uh, lively, interested. Um, I didn't have much time to uh, stay and interact with them. Uh, but uh, it, it looks that uh, it, is a, uh, um, it is a set of people with uh, diverse backgrounds, uh, diverse education, and this is always, you know, very useful. You know, whenever you have a melting, plot, uh, a melting pot and you put together people with different backgrounds, different interests, uh, you know, I think that something useful can, can come out. And, uh, you know, I noticed that the school is also uh, focusing on... Uh, let's say, uh, try to understand the business side of uh, uh, cyber physical systems. Uh, and, uh, and this will, be, uh, will bring, you know, a, uh, an interesting dimension, which is not uh, purely on, uh, you know, technical issues, but also, you know, in challenging the students' understanding, you know, how they can uh, develop something that can, uh, uh, you know, in a sense... Uh, Uh, satisfy some uh, business requirements in the real world.